Hey, hello. Um, I was looking at the YouTube videos and I couldn't find a video of the tools or like any detailed info about uh, how to take the timing chains and cylinder head off a 5.42 valve engine. Uh, but what I'm working on today is a 98 um, Lincoln Navigator. It has a 5.42 valve V8 and the one of the spark plugs blew out on the number two cylinder it's a common problem but uh once i go fix that with the insert tool and to put basically put new uh threads back into the cylinder head um but somebody had already put the the biggest size insert you could put in there and so the tool i had was uh kind of worthless so <sighs> then i had to um change the cylinder head and i only did one side i told the customer or the guy who i'm working on it for um told him all about it and all the problems you might experience with just changing one head and he said it would be fine um but uh he he went and bought me a tool and subtracted some labor um that he was going to pay me but anyway this tool is, is for uh, v8 and v10s um it comes with uh, a couple of things in it um the, the only thing that i'm going to need for this engine is this tool right here and this tool this tool turns the uh, camshaft sprocket right there it's got a hole here and a hole on the opposite side it just fits in there it's got a 3 8 uh, square for a socket or a ratchet to spin um, and then it's got this tool right here that holds the camshaft from spinning once you take the timing chain off um, it's kind of kind of hard to understand but once you you know once you see it and um, see see why you need these tools uh you, you'll it's uh, easy to understand but basically to use the tool you get the um you spin the crankshaft until its number one piston which is this one right here is at the top of the compression stroke and at that same time the two valves for it will be um they'll be up so you'll have some room to goof around with it a little bit to move this uh camshaft back and forth but um once you get it there, you get the front cover off and the exhaust and intake manifold, all the wiring, hoses, stuff like that, um, then you could use this tool. This tool fits right on the top. I'm not sure if it goes there or the next one back, but um, it, the two halves come apart and it fits on there and clamps on as you tighten the bolts and keeps this camshaft from spinning. Um, you don't absolutely need, need the tool, but I, I did take the tool off after I got the cylinder head off and that the, the shaft did spin and it didn't just slowly spin it, like sprang to, you know, like really quickly sprung to the, it's uh, where it had the least tension and, and I imagine if I didn't have this tool, the valves I'm pretty sure would have got messed up. So, uh, you don't absolutely need it. Um, this tool came in handy but if I had a spanner wrench with these that had these two little um, studs dowels on it um, I, I could have used that instead and actually I, I prefer I, I probably would have preferred to have that tool because this thing I would kind of fall off and stuff you, you'll understand once you use the tool but um, basically you get the number one piston that top dead center with the both valves back and then you could take the timing chain off and the timing chain has a um, tensioner right here and that's what it looks like uh, once you get the, that off uh, the, the lower guide right here the tensioning guide you can take that off and it just slides off this one's held on with two bolts one upper one and one lower one and then once you get that, that all the way, the kit lower um, crankshaft sprocket for the chain, it slides right off. And um, you have enough, uh, there's enough uh, tension in this arm, not tension, but enough uh, slack in the chain to remove the chain. And once you get that off, then you could take all the bolts off that hold the cylinder head on. on and, um, and you can take the cylinder head off. There's a fucking, there's not a lot of room to work in here um, but when, once you get that off you can take your tool and you could use it for the opposite side and it'll help you get the chain off and uh, safely 
and then you can remove that cylinder head as well. I was wondering why two didn't come in the kit because the instructions online everywhere. I have the old Haynes manual, Tilton manual, and I have my Ford work manual at work, and um, it's kind of a pain. But that's basically a tool you need, and it's pretty simple to do. It's just kind of strenuous sitting on this fucking little ledge and leaning over there. There's probably an easier way to do this, but. I don't know how to do it, so I did it the old-fashioned, the old Indian way. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I hope this video helps, and uh, hope this answers those questions that uh, you guys emailed me. Oh, here's my new tool. Uh, it's an electric ratchet.